Yo, what's up guys? So, what I'm going to be talking about in today's video is what is the Demiurge? Okay, so what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to a practical level so that you can take them, use them here now to get real, actual results. Okay, so if you want to know what the Demiurge is, and I know that you've heard about it or that before, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is go to the first link in my description. It says my Patreon. Check out my Patreon. Tier 2 and up, all the way down to Tier 4, is going to give you access to one exclusive video that will not be on my YouTube channel weekly, and it will give you access to conversate with me whenever you want about the occult, and I am responsive on those messages. Okay, I take that. This, this is serious to me. This is like, this is more than a job to me. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I've always taken my job seriously. Wherever I go, I thrive. This is more than a job to me. This is purpose driven for me. So I'm on it like it's more than a job. Okay. Um, so make sure you check that out. And right now the videos that I have have on there are very powerful. They're, they're specifically going to be geared towards people that are taking this a little bit more seriously. Um, so if you are one of those people, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Um, so to be a tier two, you're going to gain access to the, those, those powerful benefits. Um, and to be a tier two, that's going to be $9.95 a month, which is literally less than a dollar a day. Okay. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that. But right now what I want to do is give a special shout out to the top, uh, top tier, tier four members. Um, I'm going to mention their names in the description. Um, so yeah, so they're, you know, they're top tiers and top tier is considered advanced practitioner, so they're obviously taking it very seriously. Um, and I, I definitely have a lot of respect for that. So for the top tier, tier four, what I'm gonna be doing is a specific special self-empowerment ritual on the seventh of every month that's coming out of my own grimoire. And once again, I'm gonna gear, gear it towards self-empowerment. And what I'm gonna be doing is calling out to my own personal most you could say the the strongest connections i have with my own spirit guides i'm going to be calling on them and i'm also going to be calling on one other spirit that is essential for for helping people become self-empowered um, and i'm also going to be giving offerings for you so this is going to be a monthly thing for as long as you are subscribed to the top tier i will be performing this ritual for you on the seventh of every single month and i will be giving offerings for you for your own self-empowerment. So make sure you definitely check that out as well. Um, but other than that, let's go right into the video. So what is the Demiurge? Ooh. So everyone wants to know what the Demiurge is. We've heard about the Demiurge many times, right? Have you heard about the Demiurge? Because I have. I used to, like, I'll be honest with you. Why not? Who am I to not be honest, right? So when it comes to the Demiurge, what did I used to think? And I think you might resonate with this. I used to think that the Demiurge was God. And I used to think that God was fucking a creature that, you know, this is after I wasn't a Christian. This is when I started pursuing the cult as a beginner. I used to think that God was a fucked up guy because, you know, I was a Christian for a while. And, you know, in the Christian religion, there's a lot of, you got it. There's a lot of traps. Okay, I'm going to put that out there. There's a lot of traps in the Christian religion, and one of those main traps is coming from Yahweh. So for those of you that don't know, a little extra, uh, extra information here, Yahweh is a spirit of control. Okay, he is a spirit that does not want you to fuck with other spirits. He does not want you to fuck with anything outside of what he wants to show you and what he has to, to give to you. And what he has to give you is very limited to what he wants to give you. Okay, he is not an open spirit. So Yahweh will cause a Christian. I know you've seen this. I know you've seen those Christians that are like, you need to bow down and kiss the feet of, of Yahweh and you need to put the blood of Christ. It's like, it's fucking manic. It's crazy. Like these Christians are like savages. It's like they're foaming at the mouth and their eyes are yellow. 
and they're just like they're, they're, they're like you need to repent for your sins like do you do you see how there's a mental illness there so yeah there's a lot of traps in uh in christianity and, uh, and the reason why i say you know yahweh is that one of those main traps is because when they talk about the holy trinity in christianity they're talking about jesus the holy spirit and yahweh and Yahweh connecting into that Holy Trinity is going to incorporate his influence, okay? So when you incorporate his influence, guess what you're inviting into your life? That controlled type of deity, okay? And this is coming from somebody, myself, who was baptized in a church, you know, under that, that, that right, under that law of the Holy, you know, Jesus, Yahweh, and Jehovah, essentially, or the Holy Spirit. A facet, okay, this video is getting off topic already, but you know, I like where I'm going with this. So the, the fascinating thing is about Christianity is that when I started to realize that, you know, there was a control, like there was traps in it, I started to connect more with Jesus than anything, right? Like what, what literally like towards the end part of me being a Christian and I was a pretty good, I was a powerful Christian. I'll put, I, I'm, I'm going to say this without any hesitation. I was a powerful Christian. Okay. I was literally a Christian that I had run-ins with wizards, right? I had run-ins with real warlocks, people that were practicing magic before I even knew, like I didn't know how to pra practice magic, but I was a powerful motherfucker in the, in the, in the right of I was constantly doing magic in my mind and you know as, as the Christian that I was it was kind of like contradictory because that the religion that I was under the influence of Yahweh was telling me that's not good that's a sin that's a sin that's a sin because he wants my energy to be directed towards him but in reality um, magic is a part of life right like this occult knowledge is a part of life when you imagine something magic imagine that's that's performing witchcraft essentially that's that's a form of magic right so Jesus within himself, the spirit of Jesus is very different than Yahweh. Okay, Jesus, I, I like Jesus, I really do. And Jesus is a more peaceful spirit. Jesus can represent in this, and as you know, you know most, most Christians that, that do seem aligned, that do seem more balanced and healthy, they're gonna tell you, they're not gonna tell you about your sins, they're not gonna fucking make you bow down and kiss, kiss Jesus' feet. They're going to tell you Jesus is a good guy and they're not probably not going to mention Yahweh at all. They're going to say Jesus died for my sins and that's it. You know, Jesus died for my... They're more focused on Jesus. And Jesus is an energy... Once again, he's an energy of peace. He's an energy of calmness. He's an energy of protection. So I, I respect Jesus in that fact. And towards the end parts of my Christianity, I was connecting more with Jesus and I started to realize Jesus was in me. And that's when I opened the doors to the, the occult. And that's when I started going down a darker path. And... That'll be a different video, but if you guys want the real power, that's where, that's where the fuck that shit's at, okay? That shit's in the infernal divine, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. The infernal divine has the, the truest roots of power, and I'm saying this with all seriousness and all honesty, okay? But it is not a path for everyone. It is not easy to walk. Just putting that out there. But going right back to it, okay? So back to the point. I hope you like this extra information I put out there because I'm happy with it. Um, so we're talking about the Demiurge. Um, so I used to think that the Demiurge was essentially Yahweh. I used to think it was like God, right? Because I was scarred from Christianity. So I was like, fuck the Demiurge, fuck that shit. Like, fuck God, I don't like that shit. You know, at being a new occultist, being a new practitioner, right? I mean, I'm sure most of us do that. You know, we have that phase where we're like, fuck that shit, let me fucking sick, sick, sick on everything. And you know, there, there's a, there is a role to that. You know, you're, you're so, on, a, on a real scientific level, what you're doing is starting to separate from that Yahweh energy. Okay, that's, it's a necessary thing. It's not just all, ha ha ha, fuck Yahweh. It's, it's real. It's like you gotta create a barrier between yourself, separating from that energetic connection. So, you know, I went through that phase and I thought that the Demiurge was Yahweh. As I pursued my path and I went down the darker pathways of the occult, I gained a lot more knowledge and I gained a lot more knowledge very quickly. As I gained a lot more knowledge very quickly, I came to realizations that were a lot more important and aligned and more balanced and aligned with creator source, like like the, 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 the truth, you could say, that were a lot more in, in, in tune with that, the truth. So in reality, the Demiurge is you. 
let me say that again. In reality, the truth is that the demiurge is you. I am the demiurge, you are the demiurge. What? I thought the demiurge was something divine. I thought the demiurge was God. I thought the demiurge was Yahweh. Fuck Yahweh, I don't like the demiurge. You are the demiurge. The demiurge is the tree of life. The demiurge is the tree of death. You are the tree of life and death. You have it in you. It is in our bodies, the chakras, the planets, the spheres that we are existing on. That is all the demiurge. The demiurge comes from that creator source. And what are we? We are that creator source. If you saw the creator source video, then you, you should be understanding this very clearly. So the demiurge is you and, and I am the demiurge. So when you read books that mention the demiurge, if the writer is not mentioning the fact that the demiurge is you, then you can understand that there might be a flaw in that book. There might be a flaw of that what that writer is perceiving, or there may be other books that you're reading that that talk about the demiurge, and the writer may not even consciously be aware that he's he knows that the demiurge is himself, and he starts mentioning the demiurge, and maybe he's you know he starts mentioning the you know certain aspects of himself, and that's his version of the demiurge, which is the version of himself. And then there are authors that are aware of that and they talk about that. They say, oh, the demiurge, and they refer it to the self. Okay, so this is this is the main understanding. Like the demiurge is the self. It is not something that is outside of you. So you are that you are the god of your excuse me, you are the god of your own reality. You create everything around you. You have all the elements to your um, that's not the word I'm looking for. You have all the elements in, in in your own access. Okay, you can access all the elements at will, but what? You have to practice, right? You, you don't necessarily know this right off the bat. You don't just come out the womb and you're like doing advanced magic. You don't know you're the demiurge when you first come out, right? Like, I don't know how old you are right now and you're coming to this realization. But we have all the power in the entire world. Like, and outside of the world. We have all the power to create whatever the fuck we want to create. Now, there is a process to gaining that power. There is a process to forming yourself accordingly to either, you could say, absorb into the idea of Demiurge or transverse beyond it. Okay? And that's pretty much what the darker path is going to do. We don't, like... I've been doing work through the clip off, advanced work through the clip off, very advanced work through the clip off, painful work through the clip off. And it's gotten to the point where like, I see where people absorb into source. I see where people align with the universe. And it's crazy because the path that I'm on and others have are, you know, are also on very few, but others are, and some want to be on is going past the source. It is absorbing with the source and then also saying, I want to be more than this because I am this. So why not become more than what I think this to be? It is a very intricate and kind of hard concept to understand. It's almost a little bit contradictory within itself because, you know, the source is, is all creation. But if you are all creation, then you can choose to be beyond what the idea is of what people think source is. Okay, because remember, when people say, oh, I absorb into source, that's an idea. Okay, this is advanced stuff I'm sharing with you. I just hope you know that, but that's an idea, guys. Um, don't don't ever forget that. You can, and this is where it comes to personal work. Not everyone's going to share that with you, and even though I'm sharing this with you, that doesn't mean you're understanding what I'm saying. Hopefully, there is someone that's going to take this information and run with it, and I can almost guarantee there will be, because that's what tends to happen when really powerful messages get shared like this. I don't know when the person will see this video, but... They may be watching it right now, okay? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. You are the Demiurge. Whenever you read that mentions the Demiurge, just know that you are the Demiurge. And a lot of times, if people aren't aware of the fact that they're the Demiurge and they're mentioning the Demiurge, they're referring to themselves, okay? They And once again, they may not be aware that they're referring to themselves, but they are, okay? So if someone's saying you should fear the Demiurge, 
then that means that there's aspects of their own conscious, subconscious mainly, and unconscious that they are afraid of because they're creating that reality. If they're saying, oh, you need to bow to the demiurge, oh, you need to, you need to worship the demiurge, or you need to plead your, your guilt to the demiurge, then these are people that are creating images, they're imagining this creature that needs those offerings, which is very similar to a Yahweh type of energy trying to control and take and harness your own energy. So instead of buying into those beliefs, why don't you say, I am the fucking Demiurge, fuck your Demiurge, I'm going to charge and empower a creature or a being that's going to empower myself, aka the higher self. You want to think of yourself in the higher self type of way so that you realize, I like, my higher self wants the best for me, and every time I think of my higher self, there's good things that are coming to me. My higher self knows what I want before I even want it. And it's going to bring what I want it to bring before I even know I want it to bring it. If you can have that mindset, guess what you're programming into your own higher self, which is your own daemon, which is your own demiurge. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? And then that will be your reality. It will bring that to you. Yes, there, once again, there is a process to it. It takes energy to charge something. Once this video ends, I need to charge the battery on my camera to share another message like this. I can't just hook the battery on that charger and it's instantly charged. It's going to take a little bit of time. But when it's ready, boom, then I can get right back on the camera and send a message like this. Okay? I hope you get what I'm saying. Other than that, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I'm posting videos as often as I can. Once again, make sure you go and check out the Patreon, my Patreon, in my description. First link, go click that. $9.95 a month, $9.95 a month, which is less than a dollar a day. Okay, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford that, especially with the stimulus check. Okay, um, and then uh, what that's going to give you access to is an exclusive video weekly that will not be on my YouTube channel. The videos that I have on there already are extremely powerful. Once again, one of the videos that you need to gain access to is going to be um, how to win focus spirit a step-by-step -step video where I actually do it on the video so that you will get a hundred percent results If you actually apply what I'm teaching, okay? I have no doubt about it And you'll also gain access once again to conversate with me whenever you want about the occult Okay, so that click that link join the patreon go down the link below that uh, Click the link for the Streamlabs merch go check out the merch Hecate sigil shirt Beautiful shirt, beautiful sigil. They will ship it right to your door once you place the order. Then go to the link below that, the third link down, that'll take you to my Facebook community where the goal is to get a bunch of powerful people together so that we can come to some very powerful realizations as a collective. So you go to the Facebook community, you'll see a pinned post. Click the link on the pinned post. It'll take you to the private group. I will add you in the private group. Trust me, this group will grow within time and longevity. Okay, other than that, I'm going to wrap it up. Love you guys. Have a great rest of the day or night wherever you are. Peace.